<laughs> this is Adam Does Movies. I don't want to talk about TV shows constantly, and I especially don't want to talk about Star Wars, but Boba Fett has been a complete shit show, and we need to say some things. I need to get stuff off my breast. Let's begin. This episode specifically pertains to episode 6, chapter 6 of this book of Boba Fett, which doesn't even feature Boba Fett anymore. He's a cameo in his own show. It's embarrassing, and I totally understand why, because he's very lackluster in this series. And honestly, it kind of boggles my mind why this show was even greenlit. Mando was already a better version of the character. Why they didn't do something with the Jedi or with, like, anybody else. Put up a dartboard with the hundreds of characters in Star Wars and just start throwing darts. See what sticks, and then that can be your show, instead of what we have here. There's gonna be spoilers up through this episode, so tread lightly, friend, if you have any desire to watch, or if you're a fan of The Mandalorian, I wouldn't check this out yet. I truly hope this is the last time I talk about this until maybe the season finale. That's the goal, is to not mention this show again. I do want to point out a couple things from past episodes that have annoyed the crap out of me. One. There is a bounty hunter that's a Wookiee. I don't know his name. I think he's probably pretty prominent in comics or something. He's probably a cool character that they kind of made stupid. Anyway, he's tasked with killing Boba Fett at one point in like episode two or three. He shows up to Hutt's palace where Boba's having one of his many daily sauna rituals. He could have easily opened up the container and shot him in the face. Or even better, just hook a bomb on the side of the hot tub machine and just walk away. Beep, slow motion. <laughs> Boba's pieces are all over the floor. Game over. But instead, he drains the water and starts choking him. This is the worst bounty hunter ever, rivaled only by Boba Fett himself. The other thing I found comically stupid in this series is the Power Ranger kids that Boba hired to be his, his muscle. The teens with their hot rod hover vehicles straight out of American graffiti. I know there's a tip of the hat somewhere, but that doesn't mean I like what's going on in Boba Fett. It led to one of the most cringy car chases ever. These guys were going five miles an hour tops. This might be a shock to you, but I'm not perfect either. In fact, I make mistakes in pretty much every video. Sometimes it's because I'm running fast and furious, I'm running hot, I'm not really thinking before I talk. Other times I'm just trying to get a laugh, and sometimes that comes at the cost of the facts. On my last video, I talk about how it's a Mandalorian-specific app, and he shows up on Tatooine, and he turns down Fennec's offer to, to take cash to help Boba. Instead, he goes out for cigarettes and never returns. But that's not entirely accurate. In fact, he turns down the money, but he says, yeah, I'll help you out. I just have to do some shit first. I have to go see a friend. Clearly referring to Grogu. Silly stupid me. I thought for sure this series would do just a one and done on Mando, and we wouldn't see him for the rest of the season. Because there's no way they're going to have all this pertinent, important information go on in the book of Boba Fett and not in Mandalorian's own TV show, right? We're not gonna see freaking Baby Yoda again right now. We're not gonna see all these other characters show up when we're doing a brand new show. Wrong! They did exactly that! We saw freaking Luke Skywalker again! What is happening with this series? And why is it being allowed to continue in this manner? This is reckless. This is, this is bonkers. This is bananas. Gwen Stefani, I am half invested in the book of Boba Fett. I don't really like this show. I don't outright hate it. I'm just kind of zombily watching it. Zombily, that's a word now. But I don't have any interest in the stakes. The whole spice trade going on and the war that's percolating under the surface, I don't care. I didn't care about it in the prequels when they had trade disputes. I certainly don't care about it now, but I have to because Mando's now in the fold, because other characters have cropped up from his series and are gonna be fighting alongside Boba and his gang. Well, I don't know if Boba will be there. He might just be hanging out at the palace like a, like a boss or like a bitch, depending on how you look at this character. Fennec will probably take out the entire fleet herself. Just do some parkour up buildings, <laughs> whip out her gun, <laughs> throw blades and stuff. Meanwhile, we cut back to Boba at his palace. He's eating some corn, washing it down with blue milk. Cut back to Mando.
<laughs> goes to baby Yoda. <laughs> he starts flipping around. <laughs> Just when he gets into trouble, fucking Mark Hamill's Luke Skywalker D age deep faked, whatever they're doing, it looks great. He's there kicking ass how he should have done in the sequel trilogy that they completely botched. And now I have to watch this slow moving train wreck unfold and kind of like it, but also in the back of my mind, know where it's going to end up. Oh, what a fucking mess. I don't know if this shows up on camera. Can we zoom in, Sharon? Can we zoom in on this, please? There's like some spittle there from my sound effects. Thanks, Sharon, you're a doll. You can show yourself out, you're fired. Why? Oh, I don't know, because I've been doing this show solo for like three months while you were on sabbatical. Last time I checked, we don't have PTO, bitch! That was aggressive. Wow. You're not fired anymore. I'm joking, you are. Get the hell out. There has never been another show to do anything this brazen, this bold, this ballsy, this stupid, this nonsensical. Why have the last two episodes of The Book of Boba Fett Barely featured Boba, and are now fucking Mandalorian 2.5. We're halfway into season three at this point. Are they even doing another season of Mando? Or are we just gonna keep this train rolling? It's madness to do this. That's like watching three seasons of Breaking Bad and then having to catch up with Walter and Jesse in Better Call Saul. And it's not like they're tiny little things going on. These are important things. I got some, I got some shit, believe it or not, in the comments. Because I said in the last episode, Mando didn't do anything that uh, was that big of a deal. Like, he won a duel, but the guy still stayed alive. He's having trouble with the Darksaber. Yes, he was outed from the Mandalorians. He has to go to some pools or a wishing well or some shit that's destroyed in a mine. I don't know, I was half in. But this is all info you could have certainly started with at the beginning of Season 3. He's he's tracking down one of these locations, and they, they fill us in. But now there's no quickly explaining things away. You truly do need to watch this show. And that's a problem. That's a big problem. My wife, daughter, and son all freaking loved The Mandalorian. We watched it every week together. It was like our thing we did over a big breakfast. They don't care about stupid Boba Fett. They didn't watch an episode. So I had to tell them to watch the last one because it was important, but I didn't want to give anything away. And then to have to do it again is just becoming a chore. Hey guys, this I guess is another Mandalorian episode. They're, they're puzzled. I'm puzzled. The world is puzzled. I've even had to call up friends and family and say, Hey, I know you don't have any interest in this one, but just watch episode five at least, and then six, and then maybe the rest of the season, even though you're not going to get half of the plot. <laughs> this is even better. Imagine not watching Mandalorian and just watching the Book of Boba Fett. You'd be like, what the hell is going on? When episode five starts just looking around, confused, pausing, making sure it's the right show. Who the hell is this guy? What, what, Luke Skywalker's in this? Is that baby Yoda? I mean, you'd have to be under a rock to not know some of this stuff, but I bet there are some people that did not watch Mandalorian, or at least not watch it all the way through, and will be just shell-shocked when they see what's happening here. It's, it's so messy. So I'm kind of pretending now that this is The Mandalorian 2.5, and I'm just watching episodes of that. And that's okay. They're good episodes. Don't get me wrong. I really like Chapter 5, and I've really liked this one. Man, seeing Mark Hamill back as Luke, he almost well up every time he shows his face, even if it is kind of weird CG. It looks pretty damn good. It's a lot more seamless than it was in the last season. Just all the stuff they're doing with the Force, making Grogu choose between the, the Mithril or whatever that uh, little chain mail is, and then a lightsaber. I mean, come on, man. Do we have to do this? Why can't he have both? Why does he need to let his loved ones go? This is like a stupid Jedi thing. I'm sorry if I'm disrespecting people that love Jedi lore, but man, what a dumbass thing to disconnect from the ones you love. We saw how well that worked out for Anakin. You're telling me if he resists the charms of Natalie Portman sooner, this wouldn't have happened? Bullshit. Have you seen Natalie Portman? She is lovely. You cannot resist her charms, so I bottle it up. That's like trying to go no fap for a couple of weeks. It's impossible. You have to release. That's like telling a fat chick she can't cosplay as Velma. 
That's all she has! Let her have it! But I suppose that's the route we inevitably have to end up going. Luke has to be kind of an incompetent master, or, or trainer, or leader, because this whole place is gonna burn to the ground. Something's gonna happen to Grogo and never get mentioned again. Grogu, 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 Grogu. I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong here and there. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments about it. The robot ants was a weird choice. Uh, I'm not sure why Luke isn't just doing this himself with the force, picking up these rocks. He's picking up frogs. This is something a young Padawan should learn how to do, build his own temple. I mean, that, that's, that's a lot more special, I would think, than assigning a bunch of ants to do the job for you. Where do you get all these things anyways? It's just a bizarre, bizarre situation. I liked how they made uh, Mando a little bench to sit on though. They're very, very generous. They're very kind. Empathy. Empathy and robots. It's a nice, it's a nice feature. The moments with Luke and little Grogu were truly special. I, I really liked all of that stuff. It, I actually turned to my wife and said, can we just have this as a show? Can we just have Luke and Grogu adventures? Even if it's just them meditating and learning the force and how to connect with everything around you, that's that's interesting. That, that's different, right? Slow it down a little. But there's that evil darkness, that shadow right outside my purview tapping me on the shoulder. Adam, this Luke you know right now, he's not gonna be this way forever. Something's gonna happen that's really gonna shake his core and all this is gonna burn to the ground. And that's unfortunate, but I think what they're trying to do now is give us the Luke Skywalker we've wanted to see for 30 years. Let us, uh, let us have a little bit more time with that hero. And I think people will find that you don't have to break him down, make him bitter and upset and hate the Jedi, in order to make him interesting. You can do it just fine, having him be a teacher that struggles and, and still learning from his Padawans, and I don't know, maybe once in a while helps out. Help save the galaxy. That would be fun, that'd be refreshing. I do think Boba Fett was in this for a little bit, although it might have also been just a rock in the corner. I'm not sure, they're kind of the same to me. Anyway, let me know what you thought of chapter six, the book of Mandalorian. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. Like the video if you had some fun. Subscribe if you haven't. I do a lot of movie-related content and apparently now the Book of Boba Fett because it's a shit show. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more of these show up in your feed and hopefully I'll see you around. May the Force be with you. Since you're still here, maybe think about joining me on Patreon as well. It's patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or you can become a join member right here on YouTube. I mean, that's really all I have for you. I could talk about the impracticalities of Mando's new ship. Doesn't seem fit for a bounty hunter, but it's convenient how they left a little, little spot there for Grogu to fit in.